Hi everybody, this is Lars from KetCamStuff.com. Today, we're gonna to take a quick little look on Inventor project files. This is just gonna be a quick little video. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I come from SolidWorks and made the switch over to Inventor and scratched my head a little bit when I first, when I saw project files thinking, what is this? And, and you know, most of the times when you're running into to things like that, it's not that complicated, it's just a matter of seeing things with the right light. So what we are talking about is with project files is an area to work within. So I'm throwing data management out of the door. I'm throwing out uh, Inventor Vault or SOLIDWORKS EPDM. I have nothing to do with that. We're going to scrape it down to the bare minimum. And I just want to kind of like give a quick idea about project files and what they do. So if I jump um, over to Windows, we're all familiar with that. Um, you might already have some kind of a folder structure created for your CAD files. If you're brand new to CAD, you probably want to do something like that. Um, because the thing about CAD systems is that they are referencing a lot of different models. Uh, so if you have an assembly file, it's referencing drawing files and part files. And you many times in the beginning, you're not thinking about how... Uh, how many files you're going to end up having, you know, so after a year of, of, of building things, you're going to have hundreds of files and trying to figure out how that works. So in SOLIDWORKS, of course, you can do search routines um, in there where you wanted to look for reference files. But with Inventor project files, you kind of like creating that work area. And um, let me just kind of like make an example, example on it. So what you maybe have... Uh, what, what I have had in the past is that you will kind of like go in and you maybe have a folder on your main drive that you maybe called uh, holding, okay? And then within that holding area, you might have a folder in there um, that is called customer. And you might also have a folder in there called uh, templates, for example. So for your drawing templates and and and. and those kind of things. Now, inside of the customer, you, of course, will have all your different customers listed. And then in there, you would have their part numbers and, you know, whatever you want to reference with. Well, what um, Project Files does is it, it, it creates a little file that Inventor will use for searching for that reference. So doing a little bit of search on the forums and also talking to, to um, a friend of mine who is a um, inventor guru, it really comes down to how you want to do it. Don't you love that? Um, you know, when, when, when you, you just want to know what should I use. So it depends on what kind of company you are. Some companies, I think, will just do this. You will create a holding area. That's You have one project files where everything gets saved to. Um, but if you're a bigger company or you have a lot of different projects, you could create multiple project files and then jump around. But really all it is about is where is Inventor going to look for file references? So um, with this created here, let's just delete it again and kind of like, because you can you can either, of course, inside Inventor, you can, of course, reference to the folder, but you can actually also just create it from in there. So let me do that. So I'll show you kind of like both ways. So let's jump into um, Inventor here. I'm just going to go through all my things here. And here I have an assembly. And that's the point of this is that with these project files, you're kind of like narrowing down and telling Inventor, this is that designated CAD file area that I'm working in. And you should make that a... A, a rule that you have a designated area where you're working. You know, if you start losing files all over your drives, you, you're going to have a mess later on. And this is, of course, where data management comes in, but not everybody have that. So um, let me just exit out of all this. And if you go out to this bare screen where you don't, you have Inventor up, but you don't have a file in there, there is up here called Projects. And this dialog comes up here. And this is where you can designate where you want uh, Inventor to look. Where is that working area? So you could either browse, if I hadn't deleted my holding, I could browse to that. Um, but I can also create a new one. So that's what I'm going to do. Click New. And I'm just going to do a new single user project. And this is pretty much where we were before. So I might decide that my project is called Holding 1, for example. And then I can just go out here and create uh, that holding area, you know, by saying making this is all Windows, right? 
making a new folder out here called holding and select that one and hit OK. And then I can I can actually, if I hit next, you can actually bring in some different libraries. I'm not gonna go to that depth. Um, and you will also see that down here, you can actually do different things, bring in templates and things like that. But what you will see up here is that now I got that holding. And that means that when I'm starting a new file um, and working, it's gonna save it into that holding place. So depending on how you choose to do it, you might just have, you know, if you're just a one man show or, uh, you know, you, you are not too concerned about keeping each customer two separate, you might just have one holding or you maybe just have projects for, you know, your different customers. But when I hit done here, if I now go out and say I'm going to create a new file, you will see down here that it's now looking at that place. Now, of course, again, it will give me an option to activate another one. So I could just go in here and activate another one by double clicking. And now, you know, I'm, I'm looking inside of that project for something. So you can choose however you you, you want to, to do this. Now, I create the file and I'm just going to do something. Let's see how simple I can be. Uh, so now you also, if you haven't seen Inventor, you get to see that. Finish the 2D sketch, extrude that out. So now we have some kind of a, a block here. When I go up and save, you will see that it's pointing towards that holding area, right? So that's where it's looking, or the workspace that is that is looking looking at. Um, so I can save it there, and then if we go out and we look at um, at our windows, we will see we have the holding, and you will now see that we have this holding project file and then our part of course is also out here what means that if I go and I say I want to open up another file it will come up here and show that's exactly where it's looking so if I had multiple project files I could just go in and hit projects and I could select one of my other projects if that's the one I'm going to work on now um, and um, or you can just work in one and again it really depends on what you're doing um, I have people, some people have multiple projects and I think some people just have one, but that was just, it's supposed to be a short video, not me rambling too much. Project files is really just a workspace. It's really just a way to show the software where it should look for references. So if you are from coming from another CAD system, SOLIDWORKS or something else going into Inventor, that's really all it's about. And it's not really, it's nothing, it's not a golden gate. You have to have a special key to kind of log log up. So I really hope that uh, you found this, this little video helpful. Um, again, my name is Lars, you are always welcome to email me at Lars at .com. Um, Any suggestions, comments, anything, give it to me. Um, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much.